All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing uh, at least one of the possible combinations of the new and improved Dragon Ball Heroes team. Uh, honestly, since the celebration began with all the new awakenings and the new units, this has definitely become one of my favorite teams to run in the entire game and possibly just one of the overall best teams in the game as well. And I don't think that's really an exaggeration. I think this team is at worst a top 10 team, possibly even top 5 right now. So uh, as you can see, we have the new Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Goku as the leaders, along with the newly awakened Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, newly awakened Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gohan, and then the Extreme Z Awakened Supreme Kai of Time for support, and also the Xeno Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku and Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And uh, for this video, we're jumping into the Time Traveler's Extreme Super Battle stage since I'm pretty sure there isn't a Dragon Ball Hero stage. Anyways, yeah, Time Travelers. And uh, yeah, let's jump in and see what this team can do with all the new Awakenings and all the new uh, units, right? So here we go. And like I said in the beginning of the video, this is only one of the possible combinations. Um, if you guys... Uh, you know, want to run like an all-extreme team or use some of the other units. Those are also very, very good. Um, this category has become super versatile, you know, with all these uh, new awakenings, all that stuff. So really good category, really good team, enough talking. Uh, we are starting here with both Super Saiyan 4s. So let's put the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan in the first slot because he is uh, arguably the best tank of all the heroes units and this guy the super saiyan 3 xeno goku is also one of the best tanks so i don't think we actually need an item this turn we should be okay so let's target anybody that has type disadvantage in this case uh there's no tech unit so let's go for this guy right here okay we'll give him a few orbs and bardock will be getting guaranteed crits so we can go for anybody um let's go for invisible man with the bardock and then for the super saiyan 3 goku oh i messed up the orbs i messed up the orbs okay uh <laughs> that's my bad let's go for devil man and hopefully goku gets an additional super that would be nice as uh, i thought the orbs would drop a little bit differently but it's my mistake my, my mistake guys I apologize okay so uh double supers for the gohan over five mil with uh with each and as you can see tanking the normals really well no items needed because he's getting so much damage reduction and then we have super saiyan 4 bardock getting his guaranteed crit devil man is dead or sorry invisible man invisible man is dead and uh goku taking a super from devil man who historically hits really really hard for only 46k on extreme super battle road with no items that's amazing and yeah let's uh see what happens here with no item still with the double super saiyan 4 and limit breaker uh units i'll go for the mummy guy with uh super saiyan 4 goku and then obviously double man with the super saiyan 4 vegeta and uh, we can get a super for the supreme kai of time as well she's not really here for anything else except for the support okay so <laughs> that was a little bit more damage than i was expecting to take it still wasn't bad it still wasn't bad but uh, we definitely took some damage there some damage additional super guaranteed for the limit breaker super saiyan 4 vegeta that should finish off devil man it does and let's see what happens here good tanking for the normals okay so a, a bit of a shock with the 100k normal that we took but overall it still worked out pretty well so um i don't want to die in this run i don't think we will but but just in case i think i will heal up here with the princess snake and uh yeah let's heal up with the princess snake and then we'll be good to go for sure okay so gohan in the first slot once again now as you can see bardock has some good defense right 319k and he does raise defense on his uh super attack so 
he should be around like 400k defense and then with a second super if you get the additional it should be you know over 400 like 450 something like that right so his defense is pretty good um it's not as amazing obviously as uh the gohan or the super saiyan 3 goku but he can hold his own defensively that's for sure so um i wouldn't worry about it too much here uh let's go for him and then we'll go for uh i guess the middle unit i forgot their names i gotta be honest <laughs> i'm really bad with names so yeah i apologize for that 50 damage for gohan yep about what i expected gohan is just amazing that's why i said in a uh video yesterday right for like the special crossover dragonstone you can buy that gohan might be the best overall choice he might be the best overall choice um because you know he's such an amazing tank he does good damage and he also doesn't have an extreme z awakening yet so he's only gonna get better with that eza so like the you know, the sky is really the limit for the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan unit. Bardock is a good choice too, but I do think that Gohan is even better. So, if you guys have that stone, you don't have Gohan, you never pulled him on the Hero's Banner, then to me it's a bit of a no-brainer, honestly. I think it's a bit of a no-brainer. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't think we need an item here because we have tech attacks in the first slot, and then we have uh, the STR guy sealed. So he's not really going to be doing damage to us either. So we should be fine either way. Uh, we still can't get a super attack off with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, I might change up my rotations a little bit so that we can have the Super Saiyan 3s together the next fight. Just so you guys can see what they do together because they're actually a really, really good combo as well. But um, the rotations just kind of worked out in a way where it's like Super Saiyan 4s and Super Saiyan 4s, right? With the uh, Gohan and Bardock and the Goku and Vegeta. But the Super Saiyan 3s actually are amazing as a rotation too. So I'm going to try to get that going maybe. Yeah, let's see if we can make it happen in this final fight of the of the run. Okay, so four enemies. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the Supreme kind of time defensively, so I will pop an Icarus. And um, otherwise, we should be just fine. You know what? I'm, I'm going to put Bardock in the first slot because there's an AGL attack. And uh, yeah, we should be fine from there. Okay, so let's go for anybody really. We do have the guaranteed crits, but let's go for type advantage still just just because. Uh, we'll go for... Piccolo, Demaking Piccolo with the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, and then, uh, oh, we have no type of advantage here. Oh, we do, we do, never mind. Okay, let's go for him with the Supreme Kai of Time. Okay, so taking 18 damage, 6.7 mil is Bardock's attack stat. Additional super, 7 mil, another guaranteed crit. He should actually finish off. Oh, never mind. Yumi King Piccolo has a lot more defense than I thought, actually. Gohan with an additional super, though, should kill him. There we go. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's definitely dead after this. By the way, guys, if you noticed, the thumbnail for this video is absolutely fire. Okay? So, um, if you want to know who made that thumbnail, it's uh, my thumbnail guy for a long time now. His name is Naratis, N-A-R-A-T-I-S, and he does have his own YouTube channel, so make sure to go check him out and sub to his channel as well. He does make Dokkan content, link in my description. Okay, really nice guy, really talented. Make sure to show him some love. All right, so with that said, we should finish off this run now. Uh, I guess we're not gonna get to that double Super Saiyan 3 rotation, but trust me, trust me, it's amazing. It's amazing. That Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku is like arguably the second I mean, some people might argue he's the best of the heroes units. He's definitely top two, top three for me. And uh, it's kind of a shame we didn't really get to showcase him in this video because the links and the, the key didn't really work out and the rotations didn't really work out. But uh, believe me, believe me when I say he's amazing. 
is really, really good. And that Super Saiyan 3 rotation with the Goku and Vegeta is definitely uh, one of my favorite rotations to run in the entire game right now. So, uh, damn it. Okay, so we can't get a Super with Vegeta either. I'm just not really giving these guys the respect they deserve, you know? Or maybe the, the board isn't. I'm going to blame the board. The board uh, is it, it, just not really dropping in a way where we can get supers for the Super Saiyan 3s. So it's very unfortunate. But as you guys can see, uh, this team is just monstrous. This team is ridiculously, ridiculously powerful. One of the best teams in the entire game, no question. I'm very confident in that statement. And uh, this might not even be the best combination. You know, um, there's so many heroes units now that are very powerful like hearts for example um oh i'm still getting these <laughs> these dragon balls <laughs> i've been i've been slacking a little bit i'm not gonna lie at least i'm on the last set at least i'm on the last set uh if you guys quick reminder if you guys haven't collected all your purunga dragon balls the campaign is ending soon so make sure to go get those balls okay but anyways uh that is a showcase of this you know, combination for the heroes team. Like I said, there are so many other combinations you can do with like the Cumber or the Great Saiyan Man 3. Um, even some of those free to play units are very good now with their Extreme Z Awakenings. So, a lot of different ways you can build this team and still make it amazing. This is one of my personal favorites. But uh, let me know in the comments which units you guys like to run for your heroes team. And, uh, yo, check out Neridus for those fire thumbnails and also some great Dokkan content. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I gotta say. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm not running a Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Goku on my team, it's because I didn't pull him. But the good thing is that you can run that friend. So I guess in a way, it doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase and uh, more content coming soon. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.